So things can happen very quickly and we can go triple, quadruple, 5X in a period of, um, no, in a period of three months. And if you miss those three months, you're, you're gonna miss everything. So the big problem with trading Bitcoin is, you know, you can trade it just like anything else. And you know, you think you're making money, you're losing money. But the big problem with Bitcoin is if you're not in the market for those three months, it's very unlikely that you're gonna be able to get in the market and be there with any kind of size when this thing actually goes up. So that's why I think people hodl. Uh, that's why I really don't recommend trading. That's why I also really, really, as much as you might be tempted to do that, do not sell Bitcoin short because otherwise you're just gonna get taken out. But really the main thing is you're not gonna catch those moves uh, unless you're in the market. And I, I do think that we are gonna see another one of those moves in the next year. Uh, Let's say the next 12 months. When it comes to Bitcoin, things can happen extremely quickly in a very short matter of time. In each of the last three Bitcoin bull cycles, we have seen Bitcoin explode higher, pulling around a 3 to 5x in just a matter of a few months. This Bitcoin cycle is no different. That is the latest prediction out from renowned investor and mathematician Fred Kruger. For those who don't know who Kruger is, he's an extremely successful investor who has a PhD in mathematics from Stanford. However, after decades of experience on Wall Street, he's gone all in on one thing, Bitcoin. In his latest video update, Kruger breaks down three charts that show that Bitcoin is playing out spookily accurate to its last three bull cycles. A consolidation after the Bitcoin halving, followed by a huge move upwards, increasing in price between 2x and 5x in just a matter of three months. It's this move Fred believes we will see play out again over the next year. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video where Kruger gives his 18 month outlook for Bitcoin. Also guys, only a small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed. If you enjoy finance content, consider subscribing or liking the video. It's free and you can always change your mind. Now here's Fred Kruger on what we're about to see play out for Bitcoin. Let's look at, uh, first of all, Let's look at this 2013 market. Now, as you can see here, right? You know, Bitcoin, if you look at the, the entire four years of, of Bitcoin from 2009 to January of 2014, actually 70% of the move of that was done in two months, right? You could have done nothing, but just bought Bitcoin in November, in uh, September of 2013 and you would have captured 80% of the move, right? 70, 70 to 80% of the move, depending on if you held it three or four months um, in, in the end of 2013. So really, you know, we have this extreme tail here. This is, you know, and, and by the way, if you sort of, if you looked here and you sort of said, oh, how's, what's the chart look like? Well, the chart looked bad, right? The chart looked like we were rolling over, it was going down. And so there was really almost, you know, oh, maybe we're going to come back. Oh, maybe this is going to be a double top. No matter what you do, you're not going to see this ginormous pattern here, this, this thing. So that's the first, the first real kind of move up that we've seen. Now, you know, if this was just a one-off, I would say, you know, go ahead and, and trade it. But look, look what happened in 2017. Um, well, let's look in 2017. Let's go to here and let's look at that market. There again, what do we see? We see that the, uh, we see that the market did a little, whole lot of nothing. You know, it never really crossed 6,000 until October, right? That's something we just don't remember because we always remember that it, it went to 20,017, but, but bear in mind that it really almost, it only crossed 6,000 in October. And it really, uh, in November really is it only crossed 6,000. But if you, almost all the gains, and this continued to go up really briefly, right? It touched 20,000 in December. Um, you know, if you had not been in Bitcoin in October, if you got out in October, you would have missed, again, uh, you would have missed three quarters of the of the move, right? So everything really, really happened over a three month period. Now, again, you say, okay, that's two times, right? But surely it didn't happen again the same way. 
Yes, but it did. Uh, so let's take a look at that. Um, let's take a look at the the third movement, uh, 2020, 2021 bull market. And again, you know, here we go doing a lot of nothing. Doing it, and this time it's, a, it's again from, let's say from November on, right? November at 20,000. Four months later, we're at 60,000, right? So things can happen very quickly and we can go triple, quadruple, 5X in a period of, um, no, in a period of three months. And if you miss those three months, you're, you're gonna miss everything. So the big problem with trading Bitcoin is you know, you can trade it just like anything else. And, you know, you think you're making money, you're losing money. But the big problem with Bitcoin is if you're not in the market for those three months, it's very unlikely that you're going to be able to get in the market at, at, and be there with any kind of size when this thing actually goes up. So that's why I think people hodl. Uh, that's why I really don't recommend trading. That's why I also really, really, as much as you might be tempted to do the, do not sell Bitcoin short because otherwise you're just going to get taken out. Um, but really the main thing is you, you're not going to catch those moves uh, unless you're in the market. And I, I do think that we are going to see another one of those moves in the next year. Let's say the next 12 months. So, you know, I, I don't know when, I don't know when it's going to be. It could be in a week. It could be in three weeks. It could be in by the end of the year. It could be next year. I don't know. But uh, we have to stay in the market to capture those moves. I just want to give you my outlook now in the next 18 months, because I think I think we're in a really good position. You know, there could be some major drawbacks like we've had, but I do think that we have a lot of things that are very, very going to be, I think, going to make an epic 18 months here in Bitcoin. I think we're in a bull market. We've had, uh, we've gone from the low of 15,000, 16,000, let's call it, to, uh, you know, close to 70,000 right now, 63,000. I think we have, you know, we could easily go up another four to five X from here. That would put us at 250,000. And, and it could be as much as 500,000. And I think if I had to pick a spot at what this happens, I think we're going to probably get the most of it by the end of 2025, right? So yeah, yeah, maybe it keeps on going until 20, 2026. The next 18 months, I think, are going to be, you know, could be really amazing. Uh, could be absolutely spectacular uh, somewhere between, you know, 4X and, you know, 8X, the return from where we are today. So um, that's just the bull market thing. Now, what else do I think is is gives me a lot of bullishness? Well, obviously the ETFs, right? So I think in addition to the fact that we're on sort of this bull market, we have the ETFs that are um, they're really just starting to kick in. And, uh, you know, we saw yesterday we had GBTC with first positive inflow day ever. You know, and I've, I've sort of said, I think the ETFs, once we get back and we're, say, back to 70,000, I think those flows are going to come right back. Uh, because I think these people, they don't, they may not participate when the market looks shaky, but when the market looks good, they're going to come back. And that's just like a turbo booster on top of the bullish sentiment that's just coming from the non-ETF part of the market. That's the second part. The third part I would say is, you know, just from a pure fiscal irresponsibility, I think uh, we have never uh, looked more irresponsible than we are today. Um, you know, James Lavish documented this really well. Um, you know, Larry Lapard has documented this. You know, Lynn Alden has talked about it, but you know, look, we're, we're definitely in kind of this, I would say sort of the end game of fiat here. Uh, you know, we're just printing like crazy. We got just absolute insane people like Stephanie Kelton 
who really think that we can just go print like whatever we want, we can just buy. Uh, and that won't have any impact on inflation or anything. And she uses the example of World War II to show how great things are when, you know, when we just go spend like drunken sailors on something like, you know, the war effort. Um, and, you know, her new war effort is, you know, the Green New Deal and climate change. So I just think that this kind of thinking is so wrong. Uh, it is so destructive to capital. Um, so I think the fact that people just don't seem to even care at all about deficits is is a reason why Bitcoin is going to do really, really well over the next two years. Um, and then the last of all, I think we have an election. And I think uh, at the end of the day, this election, you know, whoever emerges from this election as the victor is going to go spend like crazy. If it's Trump, they're going to cut interest rates like crazy. But regardless, I think people are going to want to own Bitcoin. So I think we have a really great setup for the next 18 months. Uh, very bullish. You got to be there in order to, to participate, though. If you get off, you get off this train even once. If you get if you get uh, you get spooked out of your position, you will not you will not participate. So. You know, I I just would recommend just being fully invested and just, you know, having diamond hands. So there's Fred Kruger on why he's extremely bullish on Bitcoin. And this isn't just coming from anyone. Fred has a PhD in mathematics and has decades of experience on Wall Street. When it comes to financial modeling and predictions, he's the guy. Looking back at the last three crypto bull cycles, the pattern is clear. Every single time following a halving, we have a period of chop and consolidation like what we are seeing play out right now. Then we have an exponential move upwards, which can happen in a very short period of time usually only three months. The moral of the story, don't try and trade Bitcoin. If you miss the accelerated window where Bitcoin rips upwards, you can miss out on the majority of the gains of the bull cycle. The best strategy is the tried and true method of buying and holding. It's why the best of the best do it like Michael Saylor. Finally guys, before we go, a quick reminder for those who are keen on staying updated in the fast paced world of crypto and Bitcoin, consider subscribing to our daily 5 minute crypto newsletter. It's a concise resource for the latest expert predictions, breaking news and top on chain analysis by over 60,000 subscribers for insightful crypto investment information. Click the first link in the description to join our community and elevate your crypto investment knowledge today. Anyway guys, hope you all enjoyed today's video and that provided you with some value. I'll see you all in the next one and as always, all the best.